What's up, people? Afro Blade Master here for some more Pokemon Crystal. Uh, last time, we got through the first gym. And did a little bit of a puzzle here. And today, we're starting with an actual puzzle. One that I... You know, even though I had this, because I had the strategy guide, like, I have the solution to this, but one that I basically just kind of memorized. No, wait, hold on. Got those two mixed up. Yeah! <clears throat> but now... There's a strange presence here. Now we have the ability to catch, you know, like, actual Pokemon. Also, sorry if I was quiet there. My mic was further away from my mouth than usual. Um, I've been trying to keep it further away because my voice is just super loud and it kind of makes this mic peak a little bit. Oh, we have a battle. The only Pokemon you can counter in here, a known, and this one is an H. Okay, so unknown. There are, I believe, currently 28. One for each letter of the alphabet, a question mark, and an exclamation point. I believe in this one there are just 26 for each letter of the alphabet. And they're really bad. Like, literally the only move they can know is hidden power. Which, um, I believe, like, I don't know if it's the same in this version of the game, but it's a move that changes types based on your stats. Like, like your IVs, which in this game are called EVs. Wait, no. Maybe? I can't remember. This, this game is old. It's difficult to remember. <laughs> Um, yeah, basically, a hidden stat that affects your Pokemon's overall stat growth. I don't know if it's still, de if that still determines what type hidden power is in this generation, but all, like, Unknown can only know that move, and, and their stats are, their stats are garbage. They're literally a collection Pokemon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because different types of because different types of unknown exist, it is said that they must have a variety of abilities. They do not. Okay, I believe now if we take the unknown we caught and present it to this dude. Uh, this dude? Yep. No? That's weird. Oh. They're supposed to be... They're supposed to be like, um... They're supposed to be like, oh, hey, we have, like, we noticed this thing. Like, here's an unknown dex. Like, they upgrade your Pokedex so that there's a specific section for unknown. Okay, and I spent a couple hours with this game just kind of on in order to, like, make time pass. Like, I ran the emulator at 
400% speed while I was playing Dark Souls and is now is now 11 p it's now like 1125 instead of like 630 so he skipped ahead a few hours probably gonna do that between sessions just so we're not on the same day the entire time because the emulator doesn't hold on let me adjust my mic a little bit because I know because I'm looking at the uh, wave form and it's getting pretty high on the audio thing um like just so we're not in the same day because the emulator doesn't like keep track of time when it's off like this game is supposed to Yeah, anyway, while it was doing that, we got like 14 phone calls from Youngster Joey, one of which was asking to battle, so we're going to go back and do that. Mostly because I need to train Hoot Hoot up. It, it needs more experience. I almost actually said this dumb thing I do. Where I, instead of experience, I say e-experience. Because it's still kind of the same thing. But like, yeah. I don't know why I, I find pronouncing, like mispronouncing words in very specific ways funny. It's just one of those dumb things that makes me laugh. Who too, it is currently still level 5. See, just making, just looking at everything, making sure everything's running right. I remember the timer on my phone this time. So I should be able to keep these episodes at about 20 minutes. Who learned Foresight? A move that is basically useless unless you're going up against ghost types. It's literally just to make normal and fighting type moves hit ghosts. That's all it does. I'm pretty sure anyway. Oh hey, a Poliwag! It's a water Pokemon. Okay, so... I'm still not 100% sure what I want my team to be. I was thinking of either using... I was thinking of using a, um... Oh, right. I forgot to mention my things. So, like, like I, I'm not talking about Poliwag. But, yeah. Like, I'll get back on the team in a minute. Um, Poliwag and its evolved forms are... You know, they're not bad. They're not, like, super amazing. But this... But they did introduce a split evolution for it in this game. Originally, it was just Poliwag, Politold, Poliwrath. But they made it so that if you give it a hold item, a King's Rock, the Poliwet, the Poly, Poliwhirl will evolve into um, Politoad. Which, I think it's some use in competitive because of its ability, which abilities weren't a thing in this game. I have no idea what its viability is for Gen 2 competitive. Or if that's even still a thing. Honestly, it probably is somewhere. Anyway. Um. But, yeah, like, like the Pokemon aren't, like, really bad. In fact, if you know, in fact, like, if you teach it the right moves, they can be insanely annoying to fight. But... You know, they're not like they're not bad. I think they learn I think they have a decent move pool and you don't have to use too many TMs on them, which in this game is good because TMs are still one time use. Anyway, back to what I was saying earlier about my team. Um I was thinking about getting a whooper and using that because that's what I'm using in my practice file. But I'm also tempted to just do what I always what I, what I like to do and get um and get a like Vaporeon but that's basically if I can get like the evolution stone 
Because sometimes you just can't. Like, as I mentioned in an earlier part, uh, in an earlier episode, you can go entire playthroughs without getting the, the evolution stone you want. Okay, is this a wild battle? I wasn't... Like, I, I looked down at my timer when this battle started, so I'm not sure. Let's switch to Growlithe. I might have to off-screen train a little bit. Not sure if that'll even get picked up. Like, it's on the waveform, but... Like, I have to turn down my voice. Oh, okay, it is Trainer Battle. I have to turn down my voice in editing because... I'm just loud. Like, my voice is naturally loud, so I have to, like, turn it down quite a bit. You know, it might also help if I turn down my actual mic sensitivity. I'll probably do that between episodes. Bite. Okay, so... Oh, man. I like... Okay, so... Z Zubat... I actually really like Zubat. Mostly because when I was little... Yes, he learned Ember. That's going to make him so much better. Like, mostly because when I was a little kid, my grandfather, like, went to KFC at one point and got a Zubat plush as, like, a thing with his meal or something, and he gave it to me. And I still have it. Like, it's... Like, it's sitting, like, on my lamp with a tiny Vaporeon plush that I have. Like, I have had that thing for, like, <laughs> like almost 20 years. It's crazy. But anyway, and because of that, and the fact that Zubat is actually a decent Pokemon, especially its fully evolved form, Crobat, which became a thing in this game, like, it's, it's a real, it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Anyway, now we're fighting a picnicker. This is another trainer who you can get your phone. You can get, yeah. you can, this is another trainer who you can get um a phone number for. Ah, excuse me. Okay, I'm like drinking a soda while this instead of my instead of like water, and it's making me really burpy. Like I'm not used to this specific soda making me this burpy. Either that, or I never really noticed it since I'm not normally drinking it while recording, and I gotta switch out hoot hoot before they get destroyed. Or he gets destroyed. Let's go, Chikorita! Razor Leaf! Okay. I have no idea why. Actually, no, it might be because of uh, another, like, a Nuzlocke I watched of Pokemon Soul Silver. But for some reason, saying Razor Leaf like that reminded me that I really need to watch through more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm, like, two-thirds, like, halfway, maybe two-thirds of the way through Part 2. And they just started coming out with Part 5, like, a month or so ago. Yeah, I really need to get back into that. The only thing is, I like I can't find an English dub, and I prefer watching dubs over subs. Not to have this argument, but like, I want like I prefer watching dubs because of like the way my brain works. Like, I need to be doing more than one thing; otherwise, it's harder for me to concentrate. Like, I need something in the background to keep part of my brain occupied so I could focus. And, oh, hey, a whooper. Well, 
my, that tangent is about to get, is interrupted because Wooper is actually a really good Pokemon. Like, it's like Wooper in its evolved form Quag Quagsire, or maybe just its evolved form, but is water ground. So like, it like it completely walls electric types by being immune to it, but it's super weak to grass. Oh, I don't want to knock it out. But grass is its only weakness. And another random battle. Oh, yeah, another chance to catch one, anyway. Normally I'd cut this out, but I'm just going to leave this in. Because I want to catch it. Do, 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 do. Like, sorry, I keep um freaking doing the whole thing where I just kind of quietly hum along. Like, I know that annoys some people, or other people find it as oh hey that means the person who's like doing the video doesn't have anything to talk about. Which, admittedly, I do I don't actually come up with things to talk about ahead of time, so. I just kind of decide, oh, I just kind of hit the go button and just whatever happens, happens. But, um, yeah, it's kind of like, but, uh, yeah, like, I, I'm trying to not do that. Let's see if we can actually catch this thing. I'm going to keep Wooper on my team for now. Uh, a miraculous membrane covers his body. Touching it barehanded will cause a shooting pain. Yes, I shall keep Pooper for now, and we found a repel! Oh, that's, that's a good. That, that actually helps out a lot, and it's a Pokemon battle, like a trainer fight. Should have healed. Picnic, a camper Roland. I keep wanting to say picnicer because that's what they're called in later gens. I need a red mail. Um, I think for now I'm gonna leave in like trainer battles, cut out some random battles, but not sure about cutting out all of them because that's part of the experience. Yeah, I, I'm I'm debating. It's basically like inc like like if the like if the encounter rate is like really high, and there I go saying like eight billion times. But if the encounter rate is super high, then I'll like cut it out. <sighs> Damn, I'm trying to. Whenever you realize you say a word a lot, like I say like all the time. Like whenever you're focusing on it, you say it more. But yeah, um, and now I'll start saying, but yeah, all the time. That's another thing I say way too much. Uh, I'm gonna, what do you want this time, Joey? I literally just battled you like 20 minutes ago. I'll, I'll think about doing that later. First things first, actually. Uh. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to cut out all of the random battles. I'll cut out some of them. Like, if it feels... it, If I feel like it's getting too high. But technically, it is part of the experience... So if I feel, so I'm gonna leave them in unless I feel that like it's getting too much. Like I get into a fight every four steps, or or there's so many trainers that I that are just really boring, like in Sprout Tower. But yeah, I'll cut. Like I'm not gonna cut out all of them. 
At least for now. But we'll we'll see. And you know, with that random counter, it's actually time to say to uh, cut. Okay, so next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to continue down this route and try to get to the next town before, you know, before like another episode goes by. We'll say one thing: the next, the next place might actually be a spot where I have to cut out a lot of battles. All right, I shall see you guys then. This is that for Blade Master? Logging off.